Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Um, this is going to be a general love reading, okay? So the messages will not resonate with everyone, so please only take what is for you and leave the rest for someone else, okay? Please do not try to make something fit that doesn't fit your situation, okay? Just leave it for someone else. Um, also, feel free to switch the energies as you need to, masculine and feminine, you can switch them around, okay? Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to clear the energy, do my prayer, and then we're going to jump into your reading. So here we go. Let's see what the messages are. Ooh, look at that on the split, guys. The star card right there. That's your energy, Aquarius. Some of you could be getting an offer here or making an offer here, Aquarius. Okay. As soon as I split the card, there y'all go. This is definitely your reading, Aquarius. Some of you could be waiting, uh, wanting to make an offer to someone or could have an offer coming in, but it could be like slow i'm hearing like oh gosh for some i'm hearing too little too late maybe it's, a, it's something that you've been waiting on but somebody's too late or something two 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 or as i say that on the clock here yeah two of cups in the hang one right here some of, somebody could have been taking their time trying to decide whether or not they wanted to make an offer to you or you this could be you but i see somebody walking away here eight cups What's going on, Aquarius? You guys could be dealing with the cancer. With the water sign, cancer Pisces, he's working on. Definitely for Aquarius. Oh, I just look that set of swords wants to come out. Somebody who's been sneaky, deceitful, something here, okay? Oh, goodness. I'm feeling like somebody said something to you guys or said something about you guys and um or said something and then you turned around and looked at him like what what you say i don't know why i just got that but yeah i feel like there was a fight yeah i'm feeling like there was some kind of conflict or something maybe verbally and somebody said something to you and you just stopped in your tracks and turned around like what what'd you say i don't know that could be for very few people someone specific i just got that image okay all right, let's find out what's going on with you, Aquarius. Love and relationships. What are the messages for Aquarius? Love and relationships. All right, let's see. We got the Ten of Swords. Ooh, and the Devil. Some of y'all feel hurt and betrayed by somebody. It could have been a toxic person here. Or some of you are getting over a toxic person. Possibly a Capricorn. Aries, Gemini. I mean, I always say Aries. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? What else, Spirit, for Aquarius? Oh, this is you, my bad. Yeah, so you guys are dealing with a toxic person, I feel like. Uh, some of you are waiting on some news to come in, I'm feeling like. Waiting on some sort of information, or waiting on some sort of news to come in. What else here, Spirit? Okay, the sun flipped over. So I'm going to take that. I do feel some good news coming in for you guys. This could be in terms of a relationship. Maybe you guys are going to receive some communication about a relationship. I see the truth coming out here in a relationship. Uh, something being about to light here with the sun card. Oh, the empress is on the bottom. Some of you guys could be um, meeting your divine counterpart here. Yeah, ten of cups right there. It's, whoa, six of pentacles. The chariot for a movement and the fool making a decision here. Oh, some of you about to be making some big decisions with somebody, okay? I see a divine counterpart in your future. 
soulmate energy. Look at that tenant. Everything is fine. That ten of swords took over. I had the ten of swords twice in this deck. For those who don't know, the modern witch deck does have the ten of swords um, twice. Okay. Well, um, I don't know if it's always the ten of swords. It might be a different card sometimes, but there's always like two cards that are the same. I'm not sure if it's a ten of swords for everyone. But anywho, let's find out what this ten of swords is here. Thank you, spirit. Oh, the chariot. It came out in reverse. So I see some stalled movement here. Somebody could have trouble getting over something or a situation. Um, getting over, have trouble getting past something here. What's the chariot in reverse? Why is the chariot here in reverse? Or a clearing sort of messages here. Yeah, some of you could have trouble getting over or moving away from um, possibly a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay? Mm, yeah, the death card on the bottom here with the ending. Some of you are having trouble ending something with this person, but I see a transformation coming for you guys, so I'm about something out. Something that you've been waiting for. Some of you guys are waiting on an opportunity to move on from this person. Whoa. Why? Why? What? Okay, I'm seeing some... I'm seeing some gifts. I mean, some marriage in your future. I'm seeing you guys are waiting on something to balance out. Maybe waiting on something to end here so that you can move forward with someone else here. Oh, okay. Let's see what's on the top here. Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody feels hurt or regret about a decision that they made, um, about something that they did, or something here. Yeah, somebody was being selfish in this situation. And they feel sad about it or they regret it. What's the devil part here before Aquarius? Why is the devil here for Aquarius? Spirit? Why is the devil part here for Aquarius? Why the Empress and the Empress? And the Empress. <laughs> and the Empress. Okay. I feel like somebody is obsessed with somebody. Maybe obsessed with working something out here with somebody. Or I feel like somebody needs to um have some moderation do something in moderation maybe somebody needs to slow down something that they're doing here um you could have some sort of addiction here um this could be or overindulgence or whatever this could be drinking this could be sex this could be um being obsessed with a person anything somebody needs to make find a balance between what they're doing here um or I see somebody just really obsessed with maybe with finding their person or they're obsessed with a person, possibly a Libra or a Taurus or a Sagittarius. Um, I don't know. What is that? King of Cups on the bottom here. And the Queen of Cups is here. Somebody's looking for their person, I feel like. Or somebody's having trouble moving away from their person. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, Four of Movement, Four of Wands. Yeah, somebody's looking for their person. What? Yeah, seven of pentacles on the top, waiting energy. Wanting to go forward with somebody, six of wands, a victory, the half, and all of that. Somebody's waiting on their person. Somebody's obsessed with finding out about, oh my goodness, why did I just say that? Finding out who someone is, or finding out about somebody. Okay, what's the three of wands here? Spirit? Why is the three of wands here for a clearance of relationships? Why three of wands? 
Okay, look at that. Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody's waiting on something to come in. Somebody's waiting on some type of information to come in. Or some sort of communication to come in or something. Here. Four, four of Swords. They in their head about it. The Hermit. Whoa, the Seven of Swords. Okay. What is your, okay, I'm not even going to act like I know what this is. What is this? Okay, let me see what's on the top of the deck. So Y'all, if I can't get it, then I just can't get it. We're going to see, we're going to find out though. I see the victory card on the top here. Yeah, all of that. Making a decision, something you've been waiting on, manifesting. Okay. What's, why is the Six of Swords here with the Three of Wands here? What is the message here for Aquarius or the relationship? Look at that. Knight of Wands and the Justice. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just, there, I see some forward movement here. I see, I don't know why I want to put this like this. But I do see movement here. Somebody's going toward. Yeah, somebody's going toward their person here. This Knight of Swords. Somebody's trying to bring balance back into. Trying to bring some balance here. Trying to figure something out. Or one, or trying to figure out how they're going to go towards someone here. Okay? Aquarius, so, um, air energy right here. This is your energy. This Six of Swords is your energy. So maybe you guys are trying to figure out how to go towards someone. Or how to work something out here. This Knight is... Pointing toward this Empress and this Queen of Cups. Well, pointing toward this Empress. So maybe y'all want to go towards somebody or... Yeah, because this is your energy here. So, but it's like a slow process here with the um, King of Pentacles, okay? 12-12 when I just looked at the clock. Somebody's trying to find a strength. Making a decision about making an offer here. Queen of Swords. Lots of... Okay, you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Maybe some of you... Want to go towards a Libra. With the Queen of Swords here and the Justice and the Empress here. There's a lot of... But or this is you. Because these are air signs. Okay, but I see like some communication coming in. Yeah, I see you guys trying to figure out. Yeah, some communication is coming in. You're walking away from something here. Oh my goodness. The Emperor and the Empress? Wow. So was there a tower moment? Somebody walked away from there. Okay. So. Aquarius, I'm feeling like you guys walked away, left behind this queen of swords or left behind someone to go towards someone else or somebody left behind somebody to go towards someone else or you guys are walking away from your, your shit. i don't want to say like twin flame or something i don't know but the tower moment the tower and the king of pinnacles Income, yeah, offers. Something you've been working on manifesting. Hard times are over. A proposal, a new beginning here. Yeah, you guys are getting a new beginning here. If you would stop fighting it. It's like you guys want a new beginning here, but you're fighting against it, or you don't believe that it can happen, or you don't believe that you deserve it. I don't know. Somebody's walking away from from something here, something fell apart with someone, possibly with this Queen of Cups, because we did see the King of Cups as well. And I feel like you guys are trying to figure out how to go for this Empress, maybe. But you're stuck with this Queen of Cups here. You're stuck. You, you could be stuck, hurt and betrayed by, a, by somebody else, but you're stuck in that situation. I don't know if you're married to this person. Or maybe they 
maybe you guys have a baby together or maybe you're on the way or something. I don't know. But somebody is, is stuck with this Queen of Cups, but they're obsessively thinking about this Empress here and they want to go figure out a way to go toward this Empress, okay? What's the sun card in here? Why is it sun? Thank you, Spirit. Eight of Wands, yeah. What's the Eight of Wands? Clarify the Eight of Wands, please. Clarify the Eight of Wands, please, Spirit. Or please, let us look at your stuff like it was. What's the Hermit in reverse and the King of Pentacles flipped out in reverse? Okay. So, I don't know. Some of you guys could have been very isolated, not talking to anybody, not doing anything really i feel like some of you haven't been doing anything like you haven't been working you haven't been i don't know i feel like some of you have been in a very depressed state of mind okay yeah everything is fine y'all still been hurt over that betrayal whatever this betrayal is here but i see you guys now ready to Coming out, like emerge, re-emerging to the world, re-emerging to society, coming, stepping back out into the sunlight, okay? No longer in your shell, no longer in your hermit mode, and you're ready to move forward and go and find your happiness, okay? I feel like you guys want to get married. I feel like you guys want to meet somebody. You want to go on dates. You want to do all type of stuff here because um, you guys have been through a transformation here with that. And you could have left behind a deceitful, lying, toxic person, okay? But I feel like some of you guys have been really isolated, really, like, very much going through your, um, I don't know, like, healing yourself. Yeah, going through a healing process or something. But I see now it seems like you guys are ready to re-emerge into society whereas before you were very closed off and not going out a lot not talking to a lot of people just not really doing a lot okay but i see you guys ready to get back out there okay but some of you are very anxious about it okay still some of you are nervous about um getting back out there maybe into the dating world okay some of you could start with online dating some of you could meet somebody online or you're trying to meet somebody and you start off online just so you don't have to like get back out there just to dip your toes into the water a little bit okay i feel like you're gonna start off online and maybe you're gonna meet somebody start talking to somebody online okay and yeah, but the Eight of Cups here, I feel like that isn't really going to work out here. So you're going to walk away from that situation and then go toward this emperor here. Or go find somebody else or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get some more clarification. Shuffling for Aquarius. I see the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles here. Shuffling for Aquarius, love and relationship. Spirit, what are the messages? For Aquarius, love and relationship. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. The Hermit and the Emperor here. I know y'all can't really see my cards. Um, but you got the Hermit and the, the Queen of Pentacles here on the split. Wow. And both of them on the thing, on the on the table here. So this person, you guys could have been isolated. And also the person that you're going toward, because you got the Empress here again, could have been very isolated. Look at that Queen of Swords right there and this hermit. Y'all I'm seeing a lot of the same cards that I just saw in the other deck. Wow. Some of you guys have definitely been healing though. I feel like some of you might have went through a tough breakup or separation or divorce or something like that or just any like life-changing event okay and y'all been healing yourself been very isolated not going out a lot not talking to a lot of people like 
but I see that changing for you guys. You're ready. I feel like you're ready to get back out there. For some of you, I think you may have possibly met someone or, that you are interested in, okay? I don't know. Shuffling for Aquarius there. Um, tell me, what's the obstacle here for Aquarius? Why are they stuck? Why, why aren't they moving on? What is the obstacle here for Aquarius here with this uh, Ten of Swords, Chariot, and the Eight of Cups? Six of Wands, okay, there's a victory. What else, Chariot? Why, what's the, whoa, too many cards. I just, hold on, y'all, let me flip these back over because that's way too many. Make sure I flip them all over, okay. Um, what's the obstacle here? What is this uh, situation right here that Aquarius can't move on from or can't get over? Oh, what the hell? Ace of Wands. Okay. Oh. Four of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like some of you guys want a new beginning. Some of you guys have changed. Something has happened with you and you've changed and you want a new beginning. And I feel like with this four of cups in reverse, you want to make an offer to someone or either you did make an offer to someone and it didn't work out or they denied you or either you guys are... I don't know if this is you like rejecting an offer or or contemplating an offer. Like, uh, Ten of Swords here again. Oh, what? Okay. Y'all give me a second. Why I just feel like some of you guys are afraid of winning. You're afraid of change. You're afraid of new things. You're afraid of new beginnings here. And you want a new beginning, but something is holding you back. Like you're afraid of a new beginning. You're afraid of happiness or you're afraid of change. I mean, some people don't really don't like change. Okay. But I feel like you want it. But either maybe you don't know how to go about it, or maybe you're just afraid of it here. Ten of Swords here. You guys could be getting over being single, or you single people. You guys are getting over being single, getting over this hermit energy. You've been trapped in this hermit energy for so long that it's like you almost don't know how to get back out there. Okay, with this lovers and this knight of wands here, you guys want this, but you've been trapped in hermit mode so long, it's like you don't know how to move forward. But y'all, oh my goodness, you listen. If y'all can un get out of your own head and unstick yourself, like I feel a change, like there's a new you come re-emerging to so I don't know why I keep saying to society. Some of you guys really could have been isolated like for a long period of time, or what seemed like a long period of time. But I see love coming in for y'all, okay? Like, you got the lovers, the knight of wands, the eight of wands, four of movement here. You guys are moving forward out of this hermit energy into the ten of pentacles, the two of cups, the star, wish fulfillment. Stuff balancing out here, the two of pentacles here, okay? Y'all have been going through a tough time. There was a heavy burden here. Y'all went through some heartbreak. Y'all went through, like, some, some tragic Something, something very, very hurtful and heartbreaking. And you guys are afraid to get back out there. And I understand. But look what's on the top of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. This. Oh, okay. With the Three of Cups and the Five of Swords. You guys are scared of a new beginning here. Eight of Cups. Y'all scared of a new beginning here. Y'all don't want to take that leap of faith because you're afraid. Somebody could have cheated on you guys or something like that. And now you're afraid of a new, you want a new beginning. You do, but you're afraid. Even if you meet somebody that you really, really like, oh my gosh, can y'all see this? I'm, listen, the Ace of Pentacles, y'all scared of a new beginning here, all right? And I feel like you are so hung up in, let me see, the King and Queen of Pentacles just came out side by fucking side here. 
Three of Wands. This is what you guys are waiting on. You can have a decision to make here about how you want to move forward in the future. The will of the year. The Queen of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Reciprocity. Yeah. So I feel like you guys are... You want to change. You want something different from what you've been dealing with. Okay? So... The, somebody, the people that you've dealt with in the past or whatever could have been very toxic, could have been um, cheaters, liars, um, uh, uh, verbally, mentally, physically abusive or something like that or anything. And you guys are walking away from that situation. I think this king and queen of pentacles is a, a couple here. So I feel like you guys are walking away from someone. Okay. All right. Um... I don't know why I want to say who's this person? Who's this Empress for Aquarius? Who's this person they're obsessed with? Or who's this person they want to talk to? Who is this Empress for Aquarius? Or who's this person coming in for Aquarius? Who's this new person coming in for Aquarius? Spirit? Who's this new person coming in for that? Wow, why the hot wind on there? <laughs> ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So somebody that's going to, um, I feel like, bring you some type, some sort of closure here, all right? Um, they're going to bring an end to your burden, to your, um, yeah, Six of Pentacles on the bottom. This person is going to be ready to give you um, equal love, reciprocity, all of that stuff. I feel like somebody here is going to help you to put your burden down, okay? You have the chariot for movement. This person is going to help you to move forward here, all right? They could move you. Um, help you to get out of this trap energy, whatever this is that you guys can't get over. Yeah, you guys are really stuck, okay? Fighting with yourself. I feel like somebody fighting, going back and forth with themselves about how they should proceed, what they should do, what their next move should be, okay? Tell me more about this person. Look, move of six of swords and the hermit flipped over right here in the in my deck. Like, yeah, you guys are definitely coming out of this hermit mode. This person, I feel like... Aquarius, I feel like some of you are, like, super shy. Like, some of you could be very shy. I know y'all are probably irritated with me. They're, like, turning the light on. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was that dark. But uh, some of you guys could be super shy. So I feel like this person is going to bring the shyness out of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to... Yeah. Okay, what else for this person? Who is this person for coming in for Aquarius? Okay. Ooh. Six of Cups and the Four of Swords. Yeah, this person is going to do help you with some sort of healing. Okay, they could... Um, yeah, I feel like this person is going to help you with some sort of healing. Ten of Cups here and the Strength. Yeah, they're going to give you some Strength here or something like that i'm seeing a reconciliation of family as well so i don't know for some of you this could be like a baby mama baby daddy or something that you're getting with i do see children here or this could be the you coming together with this person um the both of you could have kids i am seeing five children here so maybe some, maybe someone has five children um or maybe y'all have five children together I don't know, but there's three children here and two here. So I see something about five children here. Um, oh, goodness. I don't know why this works. So what is right here? Yeah, I feel a strong family is what I'm getting. I'm getting a strong family. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, this person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could be um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? Um, yeah, the world. I see a, a whole new world here. This is something that you guys have been waiting on. It's coming towards you. Yeah, I feel like you guys have done some work, some kind of um, healing and soul searching and stuff like that. And I feel like good things are coming in for you guys but this person I feel like is gonna be very healing to you like I don't know like they're gonna help you in ways that 
you don't even know. Like, you probably don't even know that you need them the way that you're going to need them. They are going to help you heal from some sort of situation. I don't know. Maybe they're going to help you heal from your childhood traumas. Maybe they're going to just... I don't know. Lighten your load is what I'm hearing. I don't I don't know. How is this person coming toward Aquarius? Like, how is Aquarius going to meet this new person? How are they coming toward Aquarius? Okay. Two of Pentacles. And the star to bring some balance into your life. This person is coming to bring some balance into your life. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles right here on the bottom. And the Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Lovers. Yeah, this person, I feel like you're going to be stuck on this person or they're going to be really stuck on you. Oh, God. They could be coming to you after a tower moment here. Yeah, after a heartbreak here, they could be coming to bring some balance and, and some stability and some healing into your life with this Two of Pentacles and the Star card. On the top of the deck, you got the Tower and the, the Swords and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they could be coming to restore some balance here after you guys have dealt with some sort of heartbreak, some sort of um, downfall, something fell apart here. And this person could be coming in to heal you and give you a whole new perspective here. Um, yeah, and I see, whoa, the nice things coming for you guys, okay? Give me more about how this person is coming in. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords and the Fool. Yeah, for some of you, I definitely feel like you're probably going to meet this person online or... Maybe you met this person and, or maybe you, maybe you met this person in passing. Yeah, they, they're like passing each other. And the Knight of Pentacles is really slow to make a move, right? So maybe you met this person in passing. I feel like this is you, Knight of Swords, with this Knight of Pentacles, right? And you, you met this person in passing, right? But you, you, you saw them, but you didn't really want to make an offer here. Um, or you saw them online and you really didn't want to like click their profile or whatever. I don't know. Okay. But you guys are trying to figure out if you want to take a leap of faith here. Okay. So maybe you saw this person and you didn't want to say anything to them or you hesitated to say something to them or something like that. Uh, what else for how is this person coming in? How is Aquarius going to meet this person? Who is this new person for Aquarius? How are they coming in? Queen of Swords and Reverse. Okay. And. Whoa, Seven of Swords. Ooh. Okay, and the Page of Wands on the bottom. Hey, how you doing? Hello. <laughs> okay. This person could be younger than you. Um, oh my goodness. I don't know because I feel like you guys are going to try to have to figure this out. Like, yeah, I'm feeling like this person is hard to figure out for some of you. Aquarius, you have right here. Yeah, the balance of the Aquarius with the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you, this person is going to be hard to figure out for you guys. The Queen of Swords is in reverse, okay? Upright, the Queen of Swords could be um, very cutthroat, very icy, okay? But in the reverse, it's like not so much, like very sweet, very nurturing, maybe, okay? But you have the Seven of Swords here, so it's like, how can you be sweet and sneaky at the same time or something like that, <laughs> Okay? And I feel like you guys are really going to have a tough time trying to figure this person out. Okay. But I, look, look what's on the top. Four of Wands relationship. Oh, uh, if you got... Mm, this could cause a conflict in you. Some of you could be in a relationship. I don't know, Aquarius. Let me... Some of you are in a relationship and then this person is going to cause some chaos in your relationship or you're going to cause some chaos. 
because of this person? Maybe this is why y'all hesitating on how on whether or not you should talk to this person because some of you could be in a relationship, okay? And maybe you ain't supposed to be talking to this person, all right? Oh goodness, okay. Um, tell me what's the possible outcome here for Aquarius and this person. Aquarius, y'all in a relationship or either this person is in a relationship, I don't know. Because I'm feeling like oh, somebody's sneaking around or something, not doing something they really supposed to be doing. Okay, Chariot and the Hermit, all right. Getting out of the Hermit mode, moving forward. What else? What's the possible outcome here for Aquarius and this person? Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Okay. I don't know, somebody's trying to open up to somebody and they can't, is what I'm getting. Or somebody's trying to get to somebody and they can't. Damn it, come on. Yeah, okay. This queen of this king of pentacles with the page of swords and the ten of cups and the strength. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to get to somebody, but they can't get to them. I don't know what it is. But I feel like, yeah, somebody wants trying to figure out how to get to somebody and make them an offer here, but they don't know how. What the hell? Five of Wands. It's like they're going back and forth with themselves. Somebody wants to go towards somebody, but they can't. They're either they're blocked off from this person and they can't go forward and they're trying to figure out how to do it. Like I'm seeing, I'm getting somebody like drinking a lot and then pacing back and forth, like checking their phone and being like, I'm still blocked, still blocked, still blocked. Like they ain't unblocked me yet. And texting somebody like, will you please unblock me? Will you like, what? Yeah, because something ended here and somebody left somebody out in the cold and now they have to say they're taking a leap of faith to maybe move towards somebody else. What? Okay, let's get, let me let me switch X and see what is going on here. Okay, shuffling for Aquarius. Shuffling for Aquarius. Yeah. cards I read both ends of them okay because both sides usually fit in the moment so first I'm going to read the upright you got a ten of coins um family legacy security privilege lineage estate by the house y'all know what the ten of coins is okay um and then in the reverse you have money trap fear of financial loss old money married for money bankrupt contracts inherited family feud financial loss okay and then you got the devil that came out um, crossways so in the upright it's uh toxic or karma connections things that hook you codependency restriction obsession addiction sexuality all of that um 
And then you have letting go, detachment, release, limiting benefits. Somebody is in a, in a battle with themselves. Somebody doesn't know if they want to let go of someone here. I feel like you guys are maybe, yeah, I said somebody was in a relationship, right? So I feel like you guys may be in a relationship, but you don't really know if you want to let go of the person that you're with, okay? Maybe this person is toxic or something like that, and you're, you're having a battle um, about whether or not you want to move forward and let go of this person, okay? Let me, let me see this. What's this ten of wands here? Why, why are the ten of wands come out, like, blocked? What's the ten of wands here for Aquarius spirit? Why are the ten of wands here? What's this for Aquarius? High priestess. I feel like some of you know it's time to go. I don't know. What the hell? I don't know why I just heard that. Some of you know that it's time to go. What else for this? Procrastinate. Okay. Um, page of coins in reverse. Procrastinate. No follow through. Learning from mistakes. Bad news. Underachiever. Common sense. Lacks goals. Oh my gosh. Eight of Cups, Swift Progress, Swift of Ending, Unwelcome Change. Yeah, somebody doesn't like change, like I said. It might not matter. Okay, why is the Messenger of Change here in reverse here? For Aquarius, thank you. Dedication to the craft. Detail master sticking to a self employed achievement, committed work, and speciality. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting this, but I feel like somebody got trapped by um, someone, okay? Maybe, and this could be you, Aquarius, or this could be you, Cross Watchers, I don't know. Somebody trapped someone, I don't know, I don't want to say trapped them in a marriage, because I don't know, but I feel like somebody um, made it seem like they had more going for themselves than they actually do okay and i'm not seeing any swords here so aquarius i don't feel like this is you okay the person that you're with or something like that somebody they could be presenting themselves to have more than they actually do like i'm feeling like somebody is saying that they have their own business or they have all this money or they work so hard and stuff like that but I don't feel like they do. Okay, I don't know. Why is the um why is the devil coming out blocked and crossways? The two of coins came out. Okay, two of coins are balanced and adaptability, prioritize, juggle back and forth, quick decisions, overcoming poor choices, overwhelming disorganized, dropping the ball. I don't know. Maybe somebody figured out something moving too quickly here. What's the two of coins here? Somebody feels like something's moving too quickly here. Um, or they want to move something along very quickly. But this could uh what else? What why is the two of coins here? Oh gosh, okay. Queen of Swords, now the Queen of Swords is in reverse. Oh my goodness. Um unemotional, calculated. Harsh, pessimistic, critical, cloudy vision, abrupt, gossip, scattered, easily influenced. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> I'm getting somebody very impulsive. Like somebody just go, go, goes. Like some like just moves along in life or whatever, not thinking about anything. Like not thinking about their actions or their um or the consequences of their actions somebody like that somebody's very on go and somebody's very um shit i'd say mean somebody's very mean i feel like somebody's hurt, hurt somebody's feelings with something that they said or something that they did here like this king of cups oh wow and king of swords i feel like there's a feminine energy somewhere that hurt that really hurt a masculine's feelings. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, 
with something that they did or something that they said. And this person doesn't even really care about hurting your feelings. So this could be this toxic energy or this person that y'all are, I don't know. But so I feel like somebody said something or did something or somebody's always hurting somebody's feelings. Like I feel like there's a, a map of feminine energy who is always talking down on a masculine. Like this person, okay, so now I'm getting maybe this masculine like has some sort of business here um, or something like that or wants to start a business or wants to do something. But this person is always telling them like you can't do that. You need to go get a real job. You need to do something. I don't know. That's just what I'm getting. All right. And now you have out in the cold. Rejection, turmoil, alienated, harsh conditions, financial ruin. Yeah. I feel like money may have played a part in why somebody isn't together here. Seven of Swords looks are receiving. Yeah, false pretenses, mask, a liar, cheat, betray, get away. Yeah, somebody presented themselves to as something that they were not. Okay. And I feel like this is um, I don't know whose energy this is. Tell me about Aquarius's current person. Tell me about Aquarius's current person that they're with right now. How they feeling? How the current person feeling about them? Conservative, loyal, stubborn, hardworking, responsible. Page of coins. I mean, knight of coins. Yeah, this person is very defensive. Very, um... Mm, slow. Three of swords here. This person, yeah. I find this person says and does a lot of things that hurts your feelings here. With the emotional pain. Three of swords on the top. But it's like you're always trying to prove yourself to this person. You could be younger than this person or they could be younger than you. But it's like this person always says something to really hurt your feelings or rub you the wrong way or something like that. Okay. Um, they could think they could like make more money than you or something like that. And maybe they think that that gives them the right to be disrespectful to you or something like that. Okay. And but you're always trying to prove yourself to this person like always coming through giving them gifts or like you know or apologizing constantly or something like that to this person and you you just feel this separation from this person because nothing that you do or say ever seems to be good enough for them okay and I see, I feel like some of you guys now have a new perspective here. Okay. Some of you guys are going through an awakening. Some of you guys are having epiphanies. Like, I do not have to deal with this. Like, something could have changed here. This person could have triggered you in a way that made you be like, you know what? I don't have to deal with this. Like, it's too much. I've been trying to prove myself over and over and over again. And I don't have to prove with this. I don't have to deal with this. Okay. Seven to one. Worth waiting for. Yeah. Make a stand. Yeah, it's my life. Won't back down. Liberty or death. That's, yeah. Y'all standing up to this person. Y'all like, I nobody got time for that. You always talking crazy to me. You always hurting my feelings. You always saying little slick shit and all that stuff. And I don't got time. Death on the bottom here. External change. Absolutely. Not only are you changing on the inside, you're changing on the outside. Complete renewal. Transformation. Transition. Finish. It's over change. Yeah. You like, you healing yourself and you working on yourself with the six of cups and you got you want a passionate new beginning with somebody else you ain't got time for that ace of cups absolutely y'all leaving this person oh lord have mercy ace of wands ace of cups and the ace of coins back to back why am i getting emotional for y'all and the temperance stop balancing out following your heart yeah powerhouse of energy is so how you gonna be with this new person yeah and now personality clashes. This person gonna come in, this old person coming in trying to argue with you and stuff because you moving on. You being, you providing with somebody else. You building with somebody else. You getting treated like you supposed to be treated with somebody else. And then this, this person who was always putting you down gonna come back and be like, how dare you be happy over there with somebody else? Like, the fuck? <laughs> I don't even need to see no more about this person. Tell me about a place this new person coming in. Tell me about the new person the Aquarius is want to be with or the new person coming in for Aquarius new love. Tell me about Aquarius new love. 
Oh gosh. All right. Eight of Swords, Self Entrapment, Hands Tied, Drama Queen, Paralyzing Crisis. What? Seven of Cups, Many Possibilities. Uh, maybe you guys have many possibilities. So maybe you are stuck and don't know which way to go. Okay. Because you could have many possibilities here. So you can feel trapped by the decision that you have to make, all right? Yeah, good things take time. So take your time and make sure that you're making the right decision for yourself, all right? Um, or this could be this other person that's trying to make you feel trapped, trying to tell you that you can't move on, whatever, whatever. Tell me about the new person, new love for um, Aquarius, please, Spirit. Tell me about new love for Aquarius, please. How? Tell me about this new love for Aquarius. Who is this person? How they're coming in? Ace of Swords. Look at that. Insight and awareness. Epiphany, clarity, force, decisive, communicate, ideas, truth, vision, compel, and focus. Yeah, this person is going to keep you very focused. This person is going to bring a lot of clarity to you. Like I said, this person, I said, is going to help heal you. Remember I said that earlier? This person is going to help you on your journey to learning yourself and to healing yourself. This person is gonna come in, they're going to communicate with you, they're gonna to listen to how you feel, they're gonna give their feedback, they're gonna give you advice, they're gonna give you guidance, they're gonna help you gain some sort of clarity about why you do the things you do, why you feel 50-50 on the clock, y'all Google that angel number, okay? Changes coming in for you guys. Yes, 50-50, five, five on the daggone clock. Change is coming in for you guys. This person is going to bring in some change for you guys. Yeah. What else for, for this new person? Tell me more about this new person coming in. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. A love and exchange. Union of hearts in sync. Mutual attraction. New partnership and companionship. Absolutely. The chariot. Strength of will. for a movement here. Swip you up. Swip off their feet. This person don't sweep you off your feet. Or this is you. You want to sweep them off your feet. All right. Heavy load here. Ten of wands. But look what's behind it. You walking away from a heavy load. Ten of wands and eight of cups. Walking away from it. Because this new person is coming in for you. It's going to be a powerhouse of energy here. Okay. Even if y'all um, initially don't see eye to eye or something like that. Or I feel like this other person is going to come in trying to just do whatever, okay? Rewards of your labor. This person is a reward for you, okay? This person is a reward for you coming in, okay? Oh, goodness. What else? What else for the new person coming in? Spirit? The star. Wish granted. Wish fulfillment. Queen of Cups. Creative idealist. Justice, fairness, and balance. Okay? The new person coming in for you guys could be... <clears throat> Who could be a Libra? Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be an Aqu oh, Aquarius. This is you. Your wish is going to get granted here. This person is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay? For you, a fellow air sign. Or, um... I don't know what else this is on, on Justice. If y'all know, then y'all know. But, yeah. The um, strength card here. They're going to bring in so much strength to you. It's gonna If this is going to be the person that you manifested, or this is going to be like the person of your dreams here, okay? I feel like y'all have the potential to sabotage this, but don't do it. Don't do it. This person is your person, okay? Celebrating four of wands here, y'all. That four of cups here. Self-serving disinterest, okay? Um, missed opportunities, bored, unmotivated, dissatisfaction. I feel like this is the other person. Like, maybe you're going to meet this new person and you're going to, like, have so much passion and so much love and stuff in, with this new person, okay? And they're going to be, it's going to be so different from your other relationship. And people are going to be able to physically see that change in you as well, Okay? Uh, where's that, that card that said external shit? It said external something. Yeah, but anyway, people are going to not only see the change, like, you're not only going to feel the change on the inside, people are going to see the change on the outside. And this other person in the past, they're going to feel like they missed an opportunity. They're going to be dissatisfied. They're going to be sad and depressed here and all this stuff. But that ain't your problem. We don't spend too much time on them. Every time I do these happiness readings and here, see, you got the four swords, um, the nine of wands here, a test of faith, okay? Yeah, this person is going to test your faith. They're going to test your relationship. They, this, 
The past person, the ex person, toxic people, they always try to sneak back in the middle of the damn reading. So I'm not going to spend too much time on them because y'all got emotionally fulfilled here with the Nine of Cups here. Ace of Wands with progress. Three of Cups doing it together, making a plan. Congratulations. Six of Swords. Six of Coins. Okay. Giving and receiving. Uh, reciprocity in this relationship. Equal give and take. Equal love in this relationship. Okay. Because you guys went within and you were honest with yourself here. Okay. So is the moon. Look at this. See, this is this person on the, on the underside. What you don't see coming. It's going to this person trying to disrupt your shit okay the moon okay subconscious misconception uncertainty deception instability just like this uh, no we're not spending too much time on this person they're gonna be upset all up in the head because you happy and you moved on and then they want you y'all know the saying misery loves company like absolutely not ain't nobody got time for that shoot get on somewhere <laughs> All right, let's get some um, messages from, I want messages from this past person or this ex person. Look on the split, Lord, y'all. It says, please don't go stalking. Oh my gosh, on the split. So this past person doesn't want you to leave them. They could be stalking you, whether it's social media, driving by your house, like physically coming to your job or something like that. They could be stalking you. Oh my goodness, cancel friend requests I just saw, okay, so this person could be trying to add you through different accounts or something like that, and you're ignoring the friend request, or they're canceling them, like this past person, we're talking about this toxic person, whoever your past person is, oh my gosh, what is this, Chevrolet for Aquarius and their past person, um, what in the world? Okay. Here, tell me what this past person wants to say to Aquarius. Oh no, too many. Shuffling here for Aquarius. Shuffling for Aquarius. Shuffling for Aquarius. Wow. What does this past person want to say to Aquarius? What does this past person want to say? feel about Aquarius? What does Aquarius want to say to them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do these past person want to say to Aquarius? And how does this past person feel about Aquarius? Oh my God, y'all, I didn't even realize when I flipped the deck right here, when I put the deck down, the love is right here on the top. I did not even realize that. Divine Union, the last question I asked was the, out, was the um, outcome of you and your new person and the love is Divine Union on the top. Romance, harmony, deep connection, relationship, alignment, openness, choices, duality and love, temperance under that, a balancing act, judgment, heeding the call under that. The hangman, a new perspective under that, worth waiting for under that. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Oh my God. I want to talk to you, but I can't. Yeah, I probably can't because you probably block their asses. What does this new, this old person want to say to <laughs> So Aquarius. I'm also feeling like, um, I'm also getting, like, the new person that you guys are going to be dealing with eventually. I feel like the old person is going to come in trying to stir up some trouble. And if you haven't blocked that person, I feel like your new person is going to be like, look, we're not going to deal with this. Just block that shit and move on. <laughs> All right. The old person wants to say, I feel, or has said, or whatever. Take it how it resonates. I feel trapped in this relationship. This is them saying this, or this is you saying this, okay? I can't let you go. Mm-hmm. They can't let you know. It never should have happened if this person cheated on you. Whatever they did to you, they feel like it never should have happened. Now they in regret. This isn't right because you're not talking to them, I feel like. And it says, I use you for your money. Mm. Okay. Um, you have lack of abundance, imbalance, 
indulges addictions and deprivation. Yeah, this person was um, indulging too much in something. Could be drinking, could be sex, could be whatever. I don't know. But there was some sort of something called um, imbalance here within them or within your relationship or something like that. Please don't go, they say. <laughs> it's over between us, I promise. I feel like this is whoever they was dealing with or messing around with, okay? You're so beautiful. Oh, now they want to flatter you. Oh, and they want to marry you. Oh, and they want you to just say yes. Oh, my gosh. Something about October could be significant. This person's birthday could be in October. Uh, I don't know. Something could have happened in y'all's relationship in October. Past the future in yeah, October, okay? All right. Let's find out what this new person has to say. Look, I'm so horny on the bottom. This old person probably just want to have sex with you. <laughs> Thinking they can lure you back in if they have sex with you. Yeah, that shit wanted to come right on out of my hand. Mm -mm. That's like y'all. What does this new person want to say to um, Aquarius? What does this new person want to say to Aquarius? Messages from the new person. Mm, ooh, they gonna take you the best they ever had, boo. I'm sorry. Let's just try to first the new person. Messages from the first the new person. About November could be significant. This person's birthday could be in November, or uh, I don't know, maybe you'll meet them in November or something. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Wow, can you please unblock me? That's not from your new person. I don't think, unless y'all going back to somebody y'all had previously blocked, y'all might be going back to this old person here that y'all did block. Where did you go? Oh my god, y'all going back to this old person. Some of y'all are. I'm so ready to move on. Um, use your intuition and secrets. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to be telling you, teaching you how to like use your intuition or use your discernment, okay? I want to talk to you, but I can't. Calling and hanging up. Playing on the phone block calls. What? Yeah, I feel like this... Man, always with the old people. I feel like this ex person, this past person is gonna be bothering your new person. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, if, if this person starts to get a little crazy or doing the most, then I feel like your new person will be like, hey, you need to just go and block them, okay? And then this person wants to know, can you unblock them? But while you're over here dealing, because they want you to know that it's over with the person that they cheated on you with or whatever, but while you over here dealing and diddling, dabbling, and listening to all this bullshit with this old person, your new person is meanwhile going to be like, I'm ready to go. Uh, like, I'm ready to move on. Oh, nobody got time for this. I want to talk to you, but I can't because I can't deal with this. Your person keeps calling and hanging up, playing on the phone. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. So, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, this person going to want to do something fun or they could feel like you are not one or they could feel like you don't want to do anything fun or you're not impulsive enough, okay? Um, or you're not, uh, what's the word? Spontaneous enough, Okay. Um, they could be losing trust in you, okay? Or they could, or you could be making them to lose trust in themselves. Like, do you really want to be with me, or do you want to go be with this other person? Like, let me know. I honestly don't know what to do without you, okay? I should have cheated. What? I could still taste you. Why'd you stop talking to me? He or she is jealous of you. I only want sex, and the best I ever have. So this person is really gonna like having sex with you, okay? Um, 
this person could also be dealing with somebody else. It says he or she is jealous of you, so they might be having some issues with another person as well. That person could be calling and hanging up and playing on your phone, your phone or their phone or something like that. I don't know. I feel like both of y'all gonna have like some ex drama or something. All right, I'm seeing your face everywhere. Okay, I was wrong. Please forgive me. That's this person. Something about a dark skinned female, a karmic female. You deserve better than a light skinned female. Or the light skinned female is the one and the dark skin is the karmic. Or the karmic is telling you that you deserve better. The dark. Oh, okay. So the dark skinned female is telling you that you deserve better than a light skinned female or something. I mean, it don't really matter about that, but I'm just saying. Can I come see you? Oh, it should have been you. I don't know. Y'all take those how they resonate. But let's get some love oracle messages from you guys. For you guys. But worth waiting for and very soon on the split. Y'all got worth waiting for twice. Came out in the other deck. Very soon here. It's safe for you to love. Very soon. Shuffling for Aquarius here. What are the love messages for Aquarius spirit? Right now, what are the love messages here for Aquarius? I see soulmate. I see romantic feelings. I see wedding. Oh, I see you deserve love, Aquarius. Oh my goodness. What are the messages for Aquarius? Damn, y'all gonna lie. I don't think nobody ever got this many like that. Yeah, separation. I told y'all, y'all leaving somebody behind. Thought I saw one more. Yeah. Yeah, separation. And y'all need to flirt. After y'all get rid of this person, or if y'all are looking for a new relationship, separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon. We all get ready to step into a new relationship. Flirt. Flirt. If you see somebody that you like, let them know. That's why I said it way at the beginning. Y'all might have saw somebody or met somebody that y'all like and want to talk to. And y'all trying to fit. Y'all obsessed almost with trying to figure out how you going to talk to this person and what you going to say to this person. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy. <laughs> okay. Flirt with them. Honey. Wow. Wedding and honeymoon came out, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Wedding. Uh, the situation involves marriage with this new person. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of time together. For some of you, y'all are going to be dealing with the new person. And for some of you, I feel like y'all are going to go back to y'all's old person. But do what you want. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, I feel like this, some of you are going to go back to your old person. You deserve love. You are lovable. And romantic feelings... Your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? But for some of you, I feel like y'all see somebody that y'all like or y'all saw somebody, y'all have already seen somebody or you're going to see somebody that you like. You're not going to be sure about how to approach them, but I'm saying just flirt with them. Just do a little something. Just, shit, I don't know. I don't know where you're going to meet them at or what's going to happen, but wherever you meet them at, just, shit, let them know. Shoot your shot. Look at that. You deserve love with this arrow here. Shoot your shot. Okay, give it a chance. This, could, this is your soulmate. Shoot, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, healing family issues. Your your love life benefits as you forgive your parents here. So some of you grew up in a toxic home where there was little to no love or something like that. Or you grew up in a toxic home and you think that's just how things go. Maybe you guys need to heal that issue so that you can, you know, find real love reconciliation here. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yeah, for some of you, you're going back to your old person, okay? But y'all do what y'all want to do because y'all grown. Those are just the messages that I have for you, okay? I hope they resonated with someone. If they did, please like, share, and subscribe. You can comment, please, and tell me how it resonated with you or whatever. But, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.